<sighs> Three, two, one. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Vlog Every Day in April, day number 12, April 12th. And today is just going to be me kind of freestyling um, because I'm running out of ideas for this. And today I'm going to talk about jury duty. Weird topic, but I had jury duty today and it was kind of interesting. <sighs> hmm. Now, let me tell you why. Now, I'm from New York. I moved from the Bronx to California five years ago, so like July 2017. And I haven't been to jury duty in a while because I served on a case. So I'm going off of my memory here. From what I remember, in New York, I think we had to call in one day. It said, you know, call this number to see if you have to serve. And you call in, and I remember one time I called, and it said, you have been selected. Please show up on this day. Fine. I also remember getting the letter calling in and it telling me that um, I didn't have to go. So fine. So this is my first jury duty here in California. Two years ago, I did get sent a notice, but because of COVID, it was canceled. And then I got a notice about a month ago. So it said I needed to call this past Friday at, um, what did it say, after 5 p.m. And I totally forgot to call. I went somewhere, I forgot my card, so I was nervous. So today, well, yesterday, I'm recording this on Monday. Yesterday, Monday, April 10th, um, I called nervous and it said, please call back today at 11.30 a.m. So I'm like, okay, I have to call back. So maybe I'm not gonna have to go. Fine, I call back at 11.30. Actually, I logged online and it told me that I was selected to go in and I had to be there by 1, 1 p.m. I'm like, fine. It's crazy that I really didn't know until an hour before, like they give you an hour. So I had to go from that to taking a, a lift down to the courthouse because I brought my car to Ford at 10 in the morning. But I digress. So I get there and I'm thinking, okay, we're all here. And for, from what I remembered in New York, we sat in the room and they called people and if you get into the courtroom, they ask you questions and they tell you if you're dismissed or not. Sometimes I remember they had their jury selected already. So if you were still sitting in the jury selection room and not the courtroom, if they had already filled out their jury, again, they would let you go home. Fine. Today was kind of weird. So we get called in and we're there. And all we really did was we sat in the room until they gave us our jury number and then half of us went to the courtroom and then when they were done the other half went my last name starts with an s so i'm always in the bottom so i had to wait like an extra half an hour but the weird thing is they didn't start asking us questions in the courtroom they said basically we're giving you a questionnaire when i tell you to leave you could leave take the questionnaire fill it out and then i still have to come back next monday at 9:15. So I don't know why they did this. They could have just asked us these questions and weeded us out that day, yesterday. But we answer the questions, which are typically what they ask you in the courtroom. And then we still have to go back on Monday for them to go through it and review them again to let us know if we, I guess, make it to the next day or if we're dismissed. I find that counterintuitive. They had a hundred of us already in the courthouse. Why not just do it there? All the lawyers were there. The defendant was there. I don't get it. It doesn't grab my gears or anything. Just very confusing notion that one, a lot of people can't take off work. And then you make them take off work to go in to pr pretty much just do nothing but orientation. And then they have to take another day off next Monday. And then they said it could be three weeks next week. I mean, three days next week, then four days the week after and five days the week after that for trial. So potentially people would have to take off 12 days. But I feel like all they really had to do today was go through, ask us the questions, and then just weed us out today. And then if I had to come back next week because I made it to like the next round or something, that's fine. I have no problem with that. But we basically skipped a step 
and then we have to go back Monday for them to tell us, I guess, to come back in the next day. Very interesting. That's all I really wanted to talk about today. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah, pretty much jury duty. Whether you like it or not, everyone has to do it. I have some sort of anxiety where, whatever, I don't care. I've been on a, on a murder trial trial before, like 15, 20 years ago. That was an experience. So we'll see what happens. Um, if you signed up for my Spider-Man No Way Home uh, digital 4K giveaway, that will be today, actually. That video will probably come out a little bit after this. This should be 5 in the morning. I just have to go and purchase the, the 4K so I could notify the winner and give them the code. And that's pretty much it. Um, let me know below some of your jury duty experiences. If you are familiar with what I'm going through since I'm in California now. If you're from here, you're probably familiar. If you're out of state, let me know how I guess they do it in your states. Because in New York, they do it a lot different than this. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell as always, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow, April 13th, for vlog every day in April, day 13. I really hope I could get through it this month. Um, I'm pretty much stuck, and I'm going day by day now, and I'm running out of ideas. Peace, guys.